I couldn't rush through Oxenfree. Part of that is the way the supernatural coming-of-age story is paced, which is sometimes to its detriment, but it's mostly because of small moments that gave me pause. I'd often stop and listen to the end of one of many conversations, which are wisely blended in with regular walking around and exploring, and look at Oxenfree's gorgeous environments thinking about my own teenage friendships. It's a beautiful but haunting experience, both helped and limited by its simplicity. Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? While the awkward conversations don't necessarily sound like natural teenage speech, Oxenfree's branching dialogue options make it work. There usually aren't obviously good or bad choices. Some feel nicer, maybe, but most just reveal different parts of the character's full selves. There were times when, no matter what choice I made, I was going to end up hurting someone. It's an important reminder that you can't win social situations, and that kept Oxenfree's supernatural plot points grounded in reality. Oxenfree's story progresses as you build and discover relationships with its interesting characters, but the clever twist is using a radio to tune into the supernatural side of things. Creepy audio crackles through the radio, and then everything changes. Time loops warp the environment, reset conversations, and reveal the darker parts of the characters and their world. Walking through Oxenfree's island and talking somewhat casually, only to be torn back to an earlier point in time and notice things that are subtly and unsettlingly different this time, adds mystery and urgency to those conversations. That urgency in turn furthers the development of the characters and the relationships which are so integral to Oxenfree's story. It's a smart touch that's consistently effective, and it made even the stilted dialogue feel more real. However, Oxenfree's pacing is strangely inconsistent. Long walks from area to area make sense because they leave room for important conversations, but walking often dragged on too long. When I went back to replay a second time in order to explore the relationships more, as it seemed necessary to do, those long walks became even more of a disappointment. I sometimes felt like I didn't have enough to do. That might be the point, and it's one of Oxenfree's strengths that it's not overloaded with pointless things, but in a game that's focused on characters and how they interact, that made me a little more reluctant to repeat this story than I'd have liked. For more on Oxenfree, you're in the right place, IGN.